Union 1920 by 1080 second monitor. Preach it, dude. The res sucks in vertical. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Or I just got to start streaming vertical for you. Rocks versus feed. Chap, what is going on? Rocks just finished a show match against Angelotti, and my goodness, did the man play insanely well. Now he's got another opportunity to go up against a top 100 player in Feed. Feed has uh, played only one show match on stream. He actually debuted at the same time as Fast, the youngster, the 12 year old who uh, went up against Feed, trying to show that the, uh, the boomers were worse than the zoomers. And uh, the boomers proved to be completely dominant. Feed, as old as 25, I believe, and was able to take down the 12 year old very easily. Now he's got Rocks. Rocks, I believe, is more of your average, uh, you know, Rocket League age, probably 17 to uh, 19, if I had to guess, is where basically all these top guys are. Feed, his flip reset, not going to connect. He has Alpha Boost. Yes, he does. He has Alpha Boost, but he's 25 years old. And that's the same thing we mentioned last time he played is when you're 25 years old, man, that means if you went to high school, then went to college, and then got a job, you've had a job for like three years. It could be a great paying job. If you went to college, it could be a great paying job. Even if you didn't go to college, because that means you've had a job for eight years or something like that. So feed, you know, we don't feel a bit too bad about him having Alpha Boost. He probably has the cash to have some Alpha Boost if he likes playing Rocket League. And we know he does, because he is insanely high in the top 100. Nice demo from Feed. A second for Feed, a lead for the player playing against Rock, something we haven't seen like basically all day tonight. I'm gonna turn the in-game sound up a little bit because Beckwith Park is extra quiet. Um, you know, we gotta we gotta give us some more sound because there's no crowd here. Nobody in the stands, and we're so far away from the city that we gotta turn it up. Um, this isn't an FPS. Your reaction time matters, but not to the extent where age is a factor. Interesting. You think that uh, age doesn't matter in Rocket League as much. For me, it seems like, at least the way games are playing right now, Rock's a nice double. Um, it could just be because kids have all the time in the world to play a lot more than the adults do, but all the pros are really young, and all the top 1v1ers, it seems, are all of them are come out of the woodwork are, are super young. Um, and I do think there's something to be said that since it's such a newer game, which sounds weird to say, it's, it's you know over five years old, but because it's a somewhat newer game, you know, nobody's been able to make careers out of it and nobody's been able to play it long into their older age. So maybe as time goes on, we'll see older and older pros. A nice bounce dribble from Feed to get his third. Because... You know, with age of a game comes age of the players as well. I think that's why you see older StarCraft, Counter-Strike, you know, other games like that players who can afford to maybe have done Counter-Strike since they were young um, and, you know, make a good living off it potentially. Rocks! An air dribble, not the best of setups. Going to be fairly easily saved away. I always forget to put the exclamation point on Feed's name, but I think he always has it there. Trying to be feed exclamation point, and I am robbing him. You're going Coast Guard, so a very good job. Yeah, man, that does sound like a good job. Rocks to the side wall. Are we going to see some more clips from him again in this second show match? A great dribble, but it's going to cost him all his boost. A goal line 50, and feed kills the ball on the goal line. Able to make the save. A great play from him. And he is going to win this 50 at midfield, but doesn't have the boost to continue this play, so he's gonna have to sit and wait in net yet again for a Rocks, who just cannot be stopped in the air. Oh my goodness. A long dribble, not a lot of boost. Needed this flip reset to turn this shot into anything and actually launched it straight at the defender, but the continuation of his car gets the 50 to get the fourth, and Rocks are gonna take the lead in style. He said in chat, he was just vibing. And I think that might be when Rox plays his best. He does seem like a vibin' type player. And uh, he's vibin' right now, up 5-3. Another quick shot on a good kickoff. As he has two minutes and 13 seconds left to hold this lead to continue his undefeated streak here in tonight's show matches. Uh, in terms of available time to practice, nice pre-jump. Feed trying his best. Oh my goodness, okay, that is vibin'. That was almost taking the ball out of the net. 
when he could very easily score it. Getting the and one too. That slight bump from feed. Uh, in terms of available time to practice, yes, but not necessarily due to lack of neuroplasticity. Um, you mean as people get older? Listen, I, I'm I take my take is that for some reason Rocket League is dominated and will always be dominated by the youngsters. Um, but it seemed like you were trying to make an argument first to the older guys, so I wanted to help you out. Feed a nice demo. Rocks not able to get the clear. If you don't know what the Coast Guard is, you'll be watching over the water. Of course I know what the Coast Guard is, my man. You gotta watch that water. It might escape if you don't uh, keep your eyes on it, my man. You gotta guard it. You never know, maybe the tide will come up too high. That's what you do, right? The Coast Guard? Rocks desperately trying to set up a bounce dribble. You could tell the feed. Doing a good job of hanging out, not letting him get it started, but he will get an air dribble started. And oh my goodness, the way that Rox is reading these 50s right now in front of the net. He is doing such a good job of turning what isn't the best dribble of all time into a goal on net by adjusting his car so perfectly so that the challenge goes right into his back wheels and straight into the net. Man is top 100, but still only able to win a champ three tourney. Oh, I didn't see what does that they say on the score line? Oh, feed. Oh, give roasting him hard, dude, on his uh, stat line, his tournament winner tag. Sometimes I've seen people um, meme with those and get like diamond ones when really they're super good. So maybe he's memeing, maybe he's not. Feed. A miss at midfield. Rocks the dribble flip reset. Oh my goodness. This is what you get man when you work hard to nail these flip resets You're rewarded with getting these free open nets by dropping it low feed has to go in the air because rocks has shown that he can snipe it with a flip reset to the top shelf and uh, That's been killing feed so far So now rocks gets to take it low and he has been earning himself a lot of kickoffs too to start off these plays he was looking like he wanted to go double flip reset, but instead he will walk it ever so slowly in. Roxers right now. My goodness, man. A great readjustment, taking it back down to the ground. Feed trying to pre-jump, and you just have to feel for the defenders trying to keep Rox from scoring right now. Because you need to pre-jump if you want to take away these, you know, very skillful shots from Rox. But what ends up happening is if right once you realize you need to start pre-jumping, he starts just rolling in the ground shots or, you know, not using the flip reset and taking it low like he did here. Just filthy play from Rox. Perfect execution. Great reads of the way the defenders are playing it to always stay one step ahead. And uh, it's got him up big in this game number one against Feed. An open long shot is completely missed, but it's not going to matter. He's definitely won game number one. Feed has to start thinking about games two and three, and hopefully some more if he's able to take a win. Feed off the side wall, gonna let it roll to the net, trying 50, but it's not gonna work. Well, it depends uh, what you wanna do. You're trying to go into the Coast Guard and stop submarines and all that, nice, man. Even though you suck people in champ tourneys, suck even more. That's why you have the tag. Feed probably had a very long day. Yeah, I think he was, uh, I think he might be like a West Coaster or something. And you know what, he has good ping on East though. Oh, sorry, East Coast. Um, that's what I meant to say. Rocks versus Feed. Caps Lock, baby, keeping it. Um, he seems like he has a really good attitude. It might have to do with the fact that he's older. Uh, there's, you know, for the most part, we have a bunch, of, a bunch of youngsters playing on stream. So maybe, we can see the maturity. He always seems to be in a good mood, regardless of how it goes, or you know, regardless of when I ask him to play. But Rocks versus Feed, game number two. Rocks continuing his hot streak, feeling like there's nobody who could beat him right now. The way he's playing, Feed gonna try and play into his game, get a flip reset of his own, but not gonna use the flip or didn't get it. Seemed like he just didn't want to use it. Feed at midfield, no boost. Trying to work his way in. Rocks, flip reset, why not? It, it, is it, I mean, 
Is it boring now? Is he so good that like he's just crushing these? These are like layups at this point. At some point we have to stop getting excited at how great he's doing. Yo, what up, Color Green? Daniel beat Arsenal in some 1v1s on stream. That sounds sick, man. If there, uh, if replays were saved, I'd gladly cast them. But uh, if replays aren't saved, then there's not much I can do about it. Uh, feed, nice interception of a rocks. Pre-jump, flip reset. Dude, you'd think this is a freestyle 1v1. The man is so insane right now. Look at this, easy buckets. Goodness gracious, dude. Feed is doing a great job. By the way, right before that shot where Rox hit that, Feed had a great save where he cut off one of Rox's plays really early and, you know, just kind of played defense perfectly against what Rox was doing. And then Rox responded by instantly recovering, regaining the ball, and going right back at him and putting on yet another impossible to save shot. It's just insane right now. The man is crazy. Does Rox have a twitch? Uh, he might, I'm not sure what it is. But I would gladly advertise it. Feed gonna get his first goal as he takes the ball away at midfield. Daniel versus Rocks. Um, yeah, I'd be down to do Daniel versus Rocks. Some of these guys who play a lot, like uh, Yo RL Aqua. Oh my goodness, my man. Feed a direct kickoff, and despite the way Rocks is playing, Feed is perfectly tied up with two of the more boring goals. Yo, guys. Oh baby, what's going on with the Aqua? 368 million viewer ray, dude. Thank you so much, guys. If you're here from Aqua's chat, I've got to suggest checking out the YouTube. The YouTube has a lot of great games, including Aqua. We do top 100 show matches here, and uh, Aqua actually just recently played in the Next Gen Season 2, a 1v1 tournament of under 15-year-old Rocket League 1v1ers, and Aqua had a couple great games. If you want to go watch a single Aqua game, I might suggest watching Aqua versus Drees. Aqua versus Trees on the YouTube. Trust me, guys. It'll be worth watching. You will enjoy it. Anyways, right here, what we got going on right now is Feed versus Rox, and Rox has been playing some insane 1v1 today. Absolutely clipping. He has a style similar to Aqua. Aqua, one of the more stylish 1v1ers we've had on the stream in a long time, but Rox plays in a similar fashion, I'd say. He has been going basically only flip resets, almost as if we challenged him to only do flip resets. But right now, up 4-2. A long time left to go in this game. Feed the opposite of Aqua. Feed double Aqua's age, at least. Uh, not quite double, actually, because I think Aqua's 14. But feed 25, trying to show that the uh, ancient players can do it as well. Well, thank you so much, Aqua. Hope your stream was good. Hope you had a good time. Feed versus Rocks, trying to go for the Night Owl bump. Both these guys in the top 100, by the way, Rocks around top 50, I think he's 49, and Feed coming in at 88. Thank you for the follows, guys. I will uh, thank you all again in between games, personally. Have you seen any other ranked replays of these two? How close were they? Um, I'm not sure if I've seen Rocks versus Feed play in ranked replays. Um, but they might have played a bunch. Who knows? Feed back the other way. Rocks gonna give him a lot of space. The wave dash touch saved away. And uh, a little bit of a greedy demo attempt will result in Feed being able to tie up this game despite the fact that it seemed like Rocks is completely unstoppable, especially after that game number one and the beginning of this game two. Feed has worked his way in. Nice run of the mill 1v1 plays. Like this one, a good kickoff for a fifth. And he is currently in the lead. Certainly could take back this series from Rox if Rox stops connecting on all of his insane shots. He truly has been insane so far, but Rox not giving up every kickoff. He's taken some of the free kickoff goals himself. Rocks to the side wall, normally so threatening, and yes, he is gonna take it. We've seen so many clips this series. Will this be another one? Yes, it will! Rocks is just too good, man. I'm gonna mark every single time he does one of these, but at this point, like, uh, he's so good with these. He's so good, and Feed is playing defense great. Feed is doing a great job of trying to cover these, and chat might be looking at this thinking, 
you know, everyone who just came from Aquas. Wait, why aren't you, you know, Peepo pogging for that shot? And the only reason we're not is because we've seen him do it like a thousand times so far this series. He's crushing him in left and right. A nice ground flick shot from Feed for a sixth. Two minutes left to go. These guys really running up the score line in this game number two. We need Middle East players. I'd be totally down to the Middle East players. The problem is that Middle East players usually need to play on US East. Um, you know, if they're going to play against somebody else. Sorry, sorry. EU, if they're going to play against somebody else um, on stream. And I don't have a lot of EU players. And also, Middle East time, I think, is even more atrocious than, uh, you know, Europe time for our streaming um, schedule. Nice air dribble bump attempt from Rox for a sixth. Or sorry, a seventh. Because we are on the U.S. West Coast, so it is really, really hard to get stream times um, at times that make sense for other time zones. Rocks trying to take the air dribble. Saw the pre-jump by Feed, so attempted to put it above, and that actually should have been an easy eight. Rocks had all the boost to make a play in an open net, but just shot it a little bit wide. A minute left to go. Feed able to gain control. Rock shadowing with all the boosts he needs. Early challenge from reverse. He loves doing it. And it's been working for him so well. Guys, oh my goodness. This time, finally, Feed's going to get the save. Because even when Rox was missing before, Feed was still getting scored on. Because Feed was, you know, acting as if Rox was going to connect. So he was pre jumping and going high on the wall. This time. Finally, he makes a read that Rox is going to miss correctly and is able to save it away, get a seventh goal. So a super close game. Rox, he's going to go flip reset. We've seen it. We know he's going for it every time. This time, Feed able to challenge early enough before anything can come from it. Rox, backflip challenge. He really likes the shadow and let the distance be closed and then throw in a backward challenge, which... It's normally very, very hard to do, but as a mechanics-based player, it must be easy for this guy. He's going to try and sneak it into the net because he saw Feed go into the corner. This is a great read and a readjustment from Rox from what he's been doing all series. He's been going to the preset, but he saw Feed turn the wrong way and executes straight to the right post and goes up 8-7 to seven with 20 seconds left to go. Rox has yet to lose a game as he has been fully in control of every game so far tonight. Can he keep it up, go up 2-0, and potentially finish off with a full sweep? Astro, what's going on, my man? Yeah, we got the Aqua Raid. Rock's gonna let it hit the ground, and feed a great second game, but not enough to take down an absolutely en fuego Roxers. Game three, Rocks versus Feed. Rocks right now is looking completely unbeatable. It is insane the way he's been playing. Even when the opposition is able to keep it close, he gets the win. And people have not been able to keep it, keep it close very much. One of the, uh, you know, oh my, one second. We have to watch this clip play out. Feed, a great save. And this is honestly how most of these shots should be going. Normally, when a player goes for shots like this, they are risky. And they result in saves like this that, you know, give free counterattack goals. Rox has somehow found a way that even when he's not connecting, he's preventing those shots. At least up until, you know, the last couple attempts that have given Feed open nets. Feed. Long shot on the ground. Not going to work. Rocks. Is he going to flip reset? Of course. Wouldn't dream of not flip resetting as he retreats out to midfield. This time, not going to go for his classic shadow and then backflip challenge. Nice dodge in the demo. Good save away. Will he rush into the net? No. Feed is there and not the best. Oh my goodness. How did he turn that jump into an actual 50? It's honestly insane. He should have been outplayed there. Feed uh, a great low 50, earning himself an open dribble. Rox trying to adjust and is able to cut off that ball on the ground. Rox has been doing some weird 
kind of half wave dashes that have gotten his car all messed up on the ground. Rock save in front of his net. Able to grab a hundred. And Bates feed off the ball. Feed could have challenged, but with low boost, didn't want to risk going for a 50 on Hy on Hydro. Hydro just logged in. On Roxer's chat. Or chat. Oh my gosh. Chat. Forgive me. Roxer's half. Rocks. Oh my goodness. Even when the ball is barely a single jump high, the man is still gonna be going for the flip resets. And you live and die by him right now if you're Roxers. And currently, he is dying by them as Feed is able to go up 2-1. to one. Rocks, once again, cut off by Feed. Cannot drop it under him. Feed finally getting a hang of showing the right defense and Rocks trying to force that shot early before Feed could spawn and get there. And he's going to slam it off the near post. Feeds dribble saved away. Night Owl, what's going on, my man? Keep redeeming them 69s. Rocks. Trying to find that second goal. Power sliding at midfield. Feed not going to let him slow down as he takes the ball away. But long shot from Rocks, and Feed saw it just a little bit too late. Feed was hovering in that far corner, thinking that Rocks was going to clear the ball over to him. And notice just a little bit too late that Rox had an opportunity to slam a power shot. Oh my goodness, in the middle of all that, Astro redeemed a 3K replay review to try and flex a little bit harder than everybody else. Rox, this flip reset didn't score? Kind of crazy. Did you get hosted by Aqua? Yes, sir, I did. What's going on, guys? Once again, I'll thank you guys for follows, uh, either in between games or after the series. Much appreciated. Of course, make sure to slam that follow button so that you can spam the nices like Night Owl. Dude, Night Owl is going to use up all of his loads of points. Just 69ing over and over and over again. Rocks, his air dribble saved away. Finally, Feed has at least made him go 50 50 in his favor. And that might be the difference in coming back in this match before it's too late. Pop high. Feed up the side wall, just trying to bait Rox into not going up for it. And of course, what is Rox going to do? He's going to grab possession, take it all the way to the side half, like it's some kind of freestyle. 1v1, and this is why, man! Rox, are you kidding me? <laughs> you're slumping, man. What do you mean you're slumping? Oh my goodness, dude. Oh. Rock slumping because not every single one of his flip resets is going in. Is it kind of laggy for anyone else? Uh, yeah, it looks like I am losing a little bit of frames. Hopefully that's stopped. It seems like it's frozen. Uh, the, the lost frames have frozen for now. So it should come back before too long. Feed, bounce dribble. Trying to squeeze it behind rocks, but can't. Rocks with lots and lots of space and a lead. Technically, no incentive to bring the ball to feed. Could have waited on his back line. I'm not sure I have a subscriber's count, um, and I also have them turned off. I can tell you, Astro, if you really want to know. But nice Night Owl bump. Night Owl here in chat. And in case he doesn't know, if he hasn't been around in a while, we do still call it Night Owl bumping here on stream. The double jump pop and threaten the bump. Not quite a full air dribble bump. Chad, I promise to tell you how many subs I have in between this next game. Rocks clear out the back wall. Tie game, setting up a double touch feed. Should be able to get there, but no! Rocks doing it in every which way. He's had enough of the flip resets. This time, he is going to boom the ball on the back wall. Feed cannot get up off the wall in time. And Rocks, a crazy double touch. Are you kidding me right now? Rocks, absolutely insane. As he goes up, 4-3 to three with 14 seconds left to go. Will the man get a 6-0, two sweeps on today 
And these opponents he's playing, they are not chumps. These are great players he's about to get two 3-0 sweeps on. Why not for the road, Roxers? Are you kidding me? My goodness, dude. Rox is just insane right now. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what to say, man. He does all the talking for himself. Oh my gosh. Dude, are you kidding me? So maybe we can see the maturity. He always seems to be in a good mood, regardless of how it goes, or you know, regardless of when I ask him to play. But Rox versus Feed, game number two. Rox continuing his hot streak, feeling like there's nobody who could beat him right now. The way he's playing, Feed gonna try and play into his game, get a flip reset of his own, but not gonna use the flip or didn't get it. Seemed like he just didn't want to use it. Feed at midfield, no boost, trying to work his way in. Rocks, flip reset, why not? It, it, is it, I mean, is it boring now? Is he so good that like, he's just crushing these? These are like layups at this point. At some point we have to stop getting excited at how great he's doing. Yo, what up, Color McGreen? Daniel beat Arsenal in some 1v1s on stream. That sounds sick, man. If there, uh, if replays were saved, I'd gladly cast them. But uh, if replays aren't saved, then there's not much I can do about it. Uh, feed, nice interception of a rocks. Pre-jump, flip reset. Dude, you'd think this is a freestyle 1v1. The man is so insane right now. Look at this, easy buckets. Goodness gracious, dude. Feed is doing a great job. By the way, right before that shot where Rox hit that, Feed had a great save where he cut off one of Rox's plays really early and, you know, just kind of played defense perfectly against what Rox was doing. And then Rox responded by instantly recovering, regaining the ball, and going right back at him and putting on yet another impossible to save shot. It's just insane right now. The man is crazy. Does Rox have a twitch? Uh, he might. I'm not sure what it is. But I would gladly advertise it. Feed gonna get his first goal as he takes the ball away at midfield. Daniel versus Rocks. Um, yeah, I'd be down to do Daniel versus Rocks. Some of these guys who play a lot, like uh, Yo RL Aqua. Oh my goodness, my man. Feed a direct kickoff, and despite the way Rocks is playing, Feed is perfectly tied up with two of the more boring goals. Yo, guys. Oh baby, what's going on with the Aqua? 368 million viewer raid, dude. Thank you so much, guys. If you're here from Aqua's chat, I've got to suggest checking out the YouTube. The YouTube has a lot of great games, including Aqua. We do top 100 show matches here, and uh, Aqua actually just recently played in the Next Gen Season 2, a 1v1 tournament of under 15-year-old Rocket League 1v1ers, and Aqua had a couple great games. If you want to go watch a single Aqua game, I might suggest watching Aqua versus Drees. Aqua versus Trees on the YouTube. Trust me, guys. It'll be worth watching. You will enjoy it. Anyways, right here, what we got going on right now is Feed versus Rox, and Rox has been playing some insane 1v1 today. Absolutely clipping. He has a style similar to Aqua. Aqua, one of the more stylish 1v1ers we've had on the stream in a long time, but Rox plays in a similar fashion, I'd say. He has been going basically only flip resets, almost as if we challenged him to only do flip resets. But right now, up 4-2. A long time left to go in this game. Feed the opposite of Aqua. Feed double Aqua's age, at least. Uh, not quite double, actually, because I think Aqua's 14. But feed 25, trying to show that the uh, ancient players can do it as well. Well, thank you so much, Aqua. Hope your stream was good. Hope you had a good time. Feed versus Rocks, trying to go for the Night Owl bump. Both these guys in the top 100, by the way, Rocks around top 50. I think he's 49, and 
speed coming in at 88. Thank you for the follows, guys. I will uh, thank you all again in between games, personally. Have you seen any other ranked replays of these two? How close were they? Um, I'm not sure if I've seen Rocks vs. Feed play in ranked replays. Um, but they might have played a bunch. Who knows? Feed back the other way. Rocks going to give him a lot of space. The wave dash touch saved away. And uh, a little bit of a greedy demo attempt will result in Feed being able to tie up this game despite the fact that it seemed like Rocks is completely unstoppable, especially after that game number one. In the beginning of this game two, Feed has worked his way in. Nice run of the middle 1v1 plays, like this one, a good kickoff for a fifth. And he is currently in the lead. Certainly could take back this series from Rox if Rox stops connecting on all of his insane shots. He truly has been insane so far, but Rox not giving up every kickoff. He's taken some of the free kickoff goals himself. Rocks to the sidewall, normally so threatening, and yes, he is going to take it. We've seen so many clips this series. Will this be another one? Yes, it will. Rocks is just too good, man. I'm going to mark every single time he does one of these, but at this point, like, uh, he's so good with these. He's so good, and Feed is playing defense great. Feed is doing a great job of trying to cover these, and chat might be looking at this thinking, you know, everyone who just came from Aquas, wait, why aren't you, you know, people pogging for that shot? And the only reason we're not is because we've seen him do it like a thousand times so far this series. He's crushing him in left and right. A nice ground flick shot from Feed for a sixth. Two minutes left to go. These guys really running up the score line in this game number two. We need Middle East players. I'd be totally down to the Middle East players. The problem is that Middle East players usually need to play on US East. Um, you know, if they're going to play against somebody else. Sorry, sorry. EU, if they're going to play against somebody else. Um, on stream and I don't have a lot of EU players and also Middle East time I think is even more atrocious than uh, you know Europe time for our streaming um, schedule nice air dribble bump attempt from rocks for a sixth or sorry a seventh because we are on the US West Coast so it is really really hard to get stream times um, at times that make sense for other time zones Rocks trying to take the air dribble. Saw the pre jump by Feed. So attempted to put it above, and that actually should have been an easy eight. Rocks had all the boost to make a play in an open net, but just shot it a little bit wide. A minute left to go. Feed able to gain control. Rocks shadowing with all the boost he needs. Early challenge from reverse. He loves doing it, and it's been working for him so well. Guys, oh my goodness. This time, finally, Feed's going to get the save. Because even when Rox was missing before, Feed was still getting scored on because Feed was, you know, acting as if Rox was going to connect. So he was pre-jumping and going high on the wall. This time, finally, he makes a read that Rox is going to miss correctly and is able to save it away, get a seventh goal. So a super close game, Rox. He's going to go flip reset. We've seen it. We know he's going for it every time. This time, Feed able to challenge early enough before anything can come from it. Rocks backflip challenge. He really likes the shadow and let the distance be closed and then throw in a backward challenge, which is normally very, very hard to do. But as a mechanics based player, it must be easy for this guy. He's going to try and sneak it into the net because he saw Feed go into the corner. This is a great read and a readjustment from Rocks from what he's been doing all series. He's been going to the preset, but he saw Feed turn the wrong way and executes straight to the right post. And goes up 8-7 to seven with 20 seconds left to go. Rox has yet to lose a game as he has been fully in control of every game so far tonight. Can he keep it up, go up 2-0, and potentially finish off with a full sweep? Astro, what's going on, my man? Yeah, we got the Aqua Raid. Rox going to let it hit the ground and feed. A great second game, but not enough to take down an absolutely en fuego Roxers. Game three. Rox versus Feed. Rox 
right now is looking completely unbeatable. It is insane the way he's been playing. Even when the opposition is able to keep it close, he gets the win. And people have not been able to keep it, keep it close very much. And one of the, uh, you know, oh my, one second. We have to watch this clip play out. Feed, a great save. And this is honestly how most of these shots should be going. Normally, when a player goes for shots like this, they are risky. And they result in saves like this that you know, give free counterattack goals. Rox has somehow found a way that even when he's not connecting, he's preventing those shots, at least up until, you know, the last couple attempts that have given Feed open nets. Feed. Long shot on the ground, not gonna work. Rox, is he gonna flip reset? Of course. Wouldn't dream of not flip resetting as he retreats out to midfield. This time, not gonna go for his classic shadow and then backflip challenge. Nice dodge in the demo. Good save away, will he rush into the net? No, feed is there and not the best. Oh my goodness, how did he turn that jump into an actual 50? That's honestly insane. He should have been outplayed there. Feed, a great low 50, earning himself an open dribble. Rocks trying to adjust and is able to cut off that ball on the ground. Rox has been doing some weird kind of half wave dashes that have gotten his car all messed up on the ground. Rox save in front of his net. Able to grab a hundred. And Bates feed off the ball. Feed could have challenged, but with low boost, didn't want to risk going for a 50 on, Hy on Hydro. Hydro just logged in. On Roxer's chat, or chat, oh my gosh. Chat, forgive me. Roxer's half. Rocks, oh my goodness. Even when the ball is barely a single jump high, the man is still gonna be going for the flip resets. And you live and die by him right now if you're Roxers. And currently, he is dying by them as Feed is able to go up two to one. Rocks, once again, cut off by Feed. Cannot drop it under him. Feed finally getting a hang of showing the right defense and Rox trying to force that shot early before Feed could spawn and get there. And he's gonna slam it off the near post. Feed's dribble saved away. Night Owl, what's going on my man? Keep redeeming them 69s. Rox trying to find that second goal. Power sliding at midfield, Feed. Not gonna let him slow down as he takes the ball away, but long shot from Rox and Feed saw it just a little bit too late. Feed was hovering in that far corner thinking that Rox was gonna clear the ball over to him and noticed just a little bit too late that Rox had an opportunity to slam a power shot. Oh my goodness, in the middle of all that, Astro redeemed a 3K replay review to try and flex a little bit harder than everybody else. Rocks, this flip reset didn't score? Kind of crazy. Did you get hosted by Aqua? Yes, sir, I did. What's going on, guys? Once again, I'll thank you guys for follows, uh, either in between games or after the series. Much appreciated. Of course, make sure to slam that follow button so that you can spam the nices like Night Owl. Dude, Night Owl's gonna use up all of his loads of points, just 69ing over and over and over again. Rocks, his air dribble saved away. Finally, Feed has at least made him go 50-50 in his favor. And that might be the difference in coming back in this match before it's too late. Pop high. Feed up the side wall, just trying to bait Rocks into not going up for it. And of course, what is Rocks gonna do? He's gonna grab possession, take it all the way to the side half, like it's some kind of freestyle 1v1, and this is why, man! Rocks, are you kidding me? <laughs> You're slumping, man. What do you mean you're slumping? Oh my goodness, dude. Oh, rock slumping because not every single one of his flip resets is going in. Is it kind of laggy for anyone else? Uh, yeah, it looks like I am losing a little bit of frames. Hopefully that's stopped. It seems like it's frozen. Uh, the, the lost frames have frozen for now. So 
It should come back before too long. Feed, bounce dribble, trying to squeeze it behind rocks, but can't. Rocks with lots and lots of space and a lead. Technically, no incentive to bring the ball to Feed. Could have waited on his back line. I'm not sure I have a subscribers count, um, and I also have them turned off. I can tell you, Astro, if you really want to know. But nice Night Owl bump. Night Owl here in chat. And in case he doesn't know, if he hasn't been around in a while, we do still call it Night Owl bumping here on stream. The double jump pop and threaten the bump. Not quite a full air dribble bump. Chad, I promise to tell you how many subs I have in between this next game. Rocks, clear out the back wall. Tie game, setting up a double touch feed. Should be able to get there, but no! Rocks doing it in every which way. He's had enough of the flip resets. This time, he is going to boom the ball on the back wall. Feed cannot get up off the wall in time. And Rocks, a crazy double touch. Are you kidding me right now? Rocks, absolutely insane. As he goes up, 4-3 to three with 14 seconds left to go. Will the man get a 6-0, two sweeps on today? And his opponents he's playing, they are not chumps. These are great players he's about to get two 3-0 sweeps on. Why not for the road, Roxers? Are you kidding me? My goodness, dude. Rox is just insane right now. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what to say, man. He does all the talking for himself. Oh my gosh. Dude, are you kidding me?